Hey guys, what's up? It's Kermaras, and welcome to your Morning's End Part 1 quest guide for the 2007 servers. So for this quest, you're going to need one piece of bear fur, two silk, a bucket of water, one feather, um, one toad crunchies, however, I am bringing two in case I eat one, uh, a magic log, a piece of leather, and ogre bellows, which you can get back from, if you lost these, you can get back by searching that chest during the, that chest that's inside that ogre's cave during the chompy bird hunting quest, I believe. Also, it's recommended to bring a Faldor teleport and an Androgana teleport um, because your stats will be drained down to 20 when you fight in a level 11 enemy in this quest. Um, and we need to go to those places and you won't be able to use your magic because of that. Also, having a teleport to the elf camp will be helpful. I'm going to be bringing them or having your enchanted like crystal seed, your teleport crystal, that could be helpful too um, instead of these because we do need to basically go to the Lita, how to pronounce that camp over there. Um, also having a teleport to Fellow Pills or a Ring of Dueling, some way to get to Fellow Pills is going to be useful and having an anti-poison for these traps that are in the forest is also going to be very helpful. Also food and also a bronze axe or some sort of axe and some sort of tinder box. That way you can cut down trees and also kill the rabbits here and cook their food um, or cook their meat for food. That could also be helpful too in case you run out. So to start this quest, we need to head down to where we started roving elves at. Uh, I'm not going to be showing you how to get here in this video because I did in the last. And, but I, however, I will leave a map in the description of this video showing you how to get around on in Tarawanana, however you pronounce this area. Um, so make sure you check the description of this video for that link. So once you're here, we may need to wait around 5 minutes for the elves to show back up because they, they basically alternate between two spots, or you could also simply hop worlds and you'll probably find them. So I'll be back when I have them. All right, so I hopped worlds a little bit and I found them. So we need to talk to Lunet or the girl, I don't know how to pronounce their names. And um, she should be able to take us to the camp or the city. So I guess I should uh, go see them now and she will lead you there. All right, so once we're here, we need to run through this. Oh, and this is how you get the teleport seed. My bad. Um, so let's say you get the teleport crystal pretty easy and that'll be able to take us back here. So our wine, how we pronounce this guy's name, that's who we need to talk to to start this quest. And as we can now see, Morning's End start it and run through the chat with him. So he tells us that we need to kill a mourner. The quickest way to get here is to, or the quickest way to get to the mourner is to teleport to a drogana and then head up to the pass entrance, which is over here. Alright, so once you're here, enter the huge gate, and then keep on running south up through this little pass until you find a mourner. Here's one. Go ahead and attack him. He will throw a potion at you that knocks your stats down all to 20s, um, but then just go ahead and continue killing him. And we're going to pick up all of his gear that he drops. Make sure you don't leave any of his gear behind. Go ahead and read the Mourner letter, and now we need to teleport to Falador. From here, we need to head to Taverly, so run north. Now, for whatever reason, if you didn't bring coins at this point, I know I forgot to mention it, but there will be a note on this video. Uh, make sure you go ahead, like at the first of this video, um, make sure that you go ahead and get 10k coins, give or take, out of the bank. We'll need it to buy dyes.
So come down to Taverly here and go to the clothing line where the uh, the man like washes things. Um, Tigid, and go ahead and talk to him. Make sure you have an inventory slot free. Once you're done talking to him, search his laundry basket and steal his soap. And now that we have his soap, go ahead and use it on your mourners, mourners top, wherever that is. Right here, it's going to be bloody. Go ahead and use that and that will clean it and it'll also use your bucket of water. All right, now we need to go ahead and head back to the elf village. So activate your teleport crystal to teleport back there. And we need to go into the clothing shop here, which is marked by that little label on the map. Should be a door around here to get in. Talk to Orwin when you're in here. Ask her if she mends clothes. She says that she needs two pieces of silk to do it. Say that you have all, all she needs to mend the trousers. Ask her, how are you doing with my trousers? Okay, now go ahead and trade her. We need a red, yellow, green, and blue dye. Now go ahead and put on all the pieces of the mourner suit that you can to free up some inventory space along with anything else that you can equip. Just make, make some inventory space and then talk to her again and she'll tell you that she has the trousers ready. Go ahead and put them on and trade her again. We're going to buy another set of these dyes uh, just in case and more can be needed if you're unlucky, which I probably will be. All right, so once you've got that all together, we need to teleport back to Drogona. At this point, we'll be visiting the bank. And simply take out your 20 coal. Also, make sure that you um, don't have anything else equipped other than your mourner outfit. So make sure you have room to keep that in your inventory. I just need to take off my whip. So I took out my 20 coal and put away my axe and my tinderbox. I don't think you will need it anymore. Um, also, um, well, we probably can put away a bucket, uh, but I'm not 100% sure. All right, so anyways, um, once you're done banking, go ahead and run to the east side, or sorry, west side of Adrogana. We need to go and enter into the Mormon or Mourner's side, whatever you call it. Go ahead and open the Drogon wall here. It'll let you through. If it doesn't, you have something equipped that is not part of this mourner outfit. Then once you're through, go ahead and run north. We need to go speak to the head mourner. Go ahead and open this door. There should be some sort of ladder in here to the western side of the room. Careful not to attack anybody. Open, oops, shit. Open the trap door. All right, now we need to run south in here. and talk to the head mourner. Say no. Okay, so he's going to give us a broken device and um, a key. Go ahead and use your tarnish key on the door which is just to the west of the room we were just in and talk to the gome on the rack. Say you said about toad crunchies and being tickled. Go ahead and use your feather on the gome. Sorry, gnome. Everybody always yells at me for that. And then use it a second time on the gnome. 
And now we're going to, I think we need to do it a third time. So after you tickle him a few times, we need to talk to the gnome, and he's going to ask if you have everything. And he's going to ask you to let him off, go ahead and release him. And you will give him all those things. We need to wait a minute before we're able to talk to him again. And then talk to him again. Alright, so once you talk to him and he's fixed the device, then we need to go ahead and teleport to Felda Pills. Uh, so get there whichever way you see fit. If you're using a teleport scroll, then all you need to do is pretty much run a little bit. Well, looks like I spawned pretty close. Um, so you need, to, you need to run up to the part where there is a frogs at. Which will be just north of the Felda Tills teleport, which is this little pond that you'll see here. So I need to run a little bit northeast to get there. Once you do get there, however, we need to use our bellows on the frogs, and then we need to use our dyes on the frogs. Now, keep in mind, the more dyes that you have for this, the better. Um, so if you do have extra on you, make sure you turn them all into dyed frogs. And I ran way past it. All right, so here we are. So once you get here, what you need to do is use your die on the ogre bellows. And then you need to use your ogre bellows on one of the toads here. And that will get you a toad of that color. And then rinse and repeat this process for all of the dyes that you have in your inventory. Uh, the more, the better. Um, really, two is the absolute minimum, uh, and you might need to come back, actually, um, if you are not lucky. We now need to teleport to a Jogana. All right, so now once you're at a Jogana, head north. Up the northwestmost path. And go ahead while we're getting here and use a green toad on your fixed device. And go ahead and weld that bad boy. Now if you switch over to your combat view, um, we're going to come up to these sheep here, which are to the east. The green sheep. Uh, so come up to this area and preferably get close to one and then click the aim and fire button. Now if you use these arrows, you will be able to aim the gun uh, and just aim it around until you're pointing at a sheep. And we actually need to fire the toad at them, and if it misses, it's gone, and we need to hit these bad boys. So, um, so make sure that you are, like, so this is where your pro called duty trick shot and still is coming at. And then once you're ready to fire, you're going to just press that red button in the middle. Okay, there's a sheep, but uh, we can't aim that far. All right, so I got one scoped into my sights, so I pressed the red button, and boom, got him first hit, and he changed colors. Now for the next patch of sheep, we need to run north here. And this time on these northern sheep, we are using the color yellow. So we're going to take off the device and load a yellow toad into it, and then give it the old equip, and aim and fire with that bad boy again. Let's look for a little sheepy poo here. Now, one tip that I can give you guys is fire this thing when the sheep are standing still. Boom. 
Got that guy. Now the next patch of sheep here should be to the west. Up by that little ogre crop. If I do remember so myself. Here they are. So these are the blue sheep. And likewise we're going to be firing a blue toad at them. Aha, and now for the last sheep, we can just go ahead and teleport back to Drogona. And these will be red sheep, so let's go ahead and get that loaded in. So go ahead and use a red toad there on the fixed device. And give it the old equip. And let's go ahead and shoot a sheep. And all right, so we've now done all of the sheep. Okay, so now that we're done dying the sheep, we need to go back to the head mourner. Make sure that you want to equip your fixed device. Pass through the doors and run north. Then open this door and open this trap door here. And then run south. Into the head mourner's room and talk to him. Okay, now head outside. And once you're outside, run northwest up until you get behind this building and take the rotten apple. Now we need to head up by the bar here in this Adrogana area and talk to a person. Go ahead and talk to Elena. Then go ahead and talk to her again. And you'll give her the red apple. Now wait a little bit and talk to her again. All right, so after a bit, if you talk to Elna again, she's going to give you some sort of weird thing. All right, so once you get that, I think it's called the I think it's pronounced Sive. Um, we need to go ahead here and run back east. And also, if you have any toads on you or the feather or the crunchies, you can drop them. We need to get to this area on the map right here.
So once you're here, go ahead and take one of the barrels that's on the ground and then use the barrel with the pile of rotten apples and then use the pile of rotten apples on the apple barrel. Now I'll go ahead and take four or five barrels. They respond pretty quickly. Okay, so once you've picked up um, four barrels and you also have your apple barrel in your inventory, we need to head back to the album place. So I'm going to be using my elf teleport scroll. And we need to get down to that toxic waste so we can make a barrel of naphtha. Now, if you already have one in your bank, you can skip ahead in this video um, up until the point till where I get one. Um, but if not, go ahead and make your way down to the toxic waste area. There is a map in the description of this video, once again, that will show you how to get there. Okay, so now that you're down here, just go ahead and use your barrel on the tire. And go ahead and fill up all of these. Or just click right down here on the tire. And get four barrels full. Now we need to head down to Falador. And we need to bank and get some coal. So from here, bank everything except your four barrels of coal tar and your apple barrel and a Adrogana teleport. Make sure you keep them in your inventory and then, and then fill your inventory up with coal. So once again, keep your four barrels of coal tar, your barrel of apple, your apple barrel and your Adrogana teleports and then get the rest of your inventory full of coal. Then we need to run down to this little location here. So follow where I go. All right, so once we're down here, um, we're at the, well, however the hell you pronounce that still name. And what we need to do is go ahead and use a barrel of coal tire on it, and that will pop open this menu. And there's two different little monitors that we need to keep note of here. So there's the pressure monitor and the heat monitor. So for this first part, um, what we're going to do is keep an eye on this pressure monitor. So we turn the tire regulator valve here, the one on the right, to the right twice. And when the pressure monitor here gets into the green zone, turn the pressure valve to the right once. Uh, if it's not quite there, turn it to the left, let it climb a little bit, and then turn it to the right so it's right in this area. Um, so now we just need to use coal or click the add coal button until this heat is in the green. And we want to basically make this heat hover in the green area. Um, but try to, try to not make it max out. Otherwise you're going to have some issues um, and it'll, it'll ruin it. And once it's that green bar at the bottom is fully full, then you can just close out of it and you'll have a barrel of naphtha. All right, so now go ahead and use your apple barrel on the barrel of naphtha to get a naphtha apple mix. And now we need to head to our drone, or our drone, how do you pronounce that? Uh, it's kind of debatable, isn't it? <laughs> it's always fights over that on Reddit and whatnot. Um, anyways, yeah, so run to the east bank or west bank here. Are done are doing whatever you like all right so once you're at the bank we need to get out that little like butterfly net looking thing um, that Elena gave us take it and use it on the NAFTA apple mix and it will give us a toxic NAFTA now we need to run north here and there's a bit of a range just in one of these houses north of that bank go ahead and head there and use the toxic naphtha on the range and you're going to get 
two pieces of toxic powder which were reskinned from the ash icon um so anyways <laughs> that's besides the point so anyways um run west here and this will be pretty much quest complete So open the Drogona wall here and then take it west until we hit the church. And use the toxic powder on the grain sacks here. You can always pray at the altar to get your prayer back up from that drain. And now we need to run to the southwest side of the city till we get to the general store here. And once you get to the general store, we do the same. We use our ash thing on the grain. And now we need to head back to the head mourner, mourner to finish the quest. And then go ahead and open the door here. And open the second door. And open the third door. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna run south. And talk to the head mourner. And that is quest complete. Thank you guys for watching, and until next time, the peace and chicken grease.